Hi guys, Alan here. This is another uh, little session. Let's see if we can do some magic. Uh, we've been talking about, obviously, the current affairs. There's no secret. Everybody's going through a hard time, one way or another. Uh, this situation has touched everybody in every way. Um, some people are going through crisis on top of the crisis, which is what's really more difficult for me to imagine that some people, they already had a situation currently going and this came and piled up on top of that. But um, how do we overcome this, right? It's not easy. There's not one solution, one fits all, not one vaccine, right? This is uh, gonna take a lot, a lot of work. That's why I say you gotta get busy. You gotta get busy learning the information, learning what's going on. Why is this happening? And how do we get out of it? We're already in it. Here's a little bit of uh, an insight uh, as far as um, you know, how, to, uh, uh, how to first understand uh, why we are where we are in one way. And the other is why we can take this as an experience and, and grow from it. And obviously, you're going to have to fight for it. But um, when I was a kid, I, I saw a movie that, that had a deep impact in my life. It kind of, till today, it's still very reminiscent and he always talks to me in different ways and he teaches me things. Um, I'm talking about Star Wars, I was a little kid and that movie was so far ahead of its time, almost like a prophecy. But there's a, more than the sci-fi aspect of it and all the, the chaos around the movie. What really struck me more than anything else was the philosophy of the relationship of the characters. That's what struck me. So I'm going to try to give you a little insight of how that kind of relate to, to today and how something that simple, uh, like a movie or an inspiration, it can talk to you in different ways, whether you're a spiritual person, a believer of any type of religion, or just simply a man roaming the land, right? So I'm going to give you a little bit of the clip and then we're going to talk a little bit about it, okay? There's no editing. There's going to be a lot of flows on this video, so just deal with it, right? I'm, I'm doing this because of this situation, and I'm trying to uh, give my two cents out there to see if it can help anybody in any way, right? I'm not an expert on anything. I've been a salesman for 30 years, so I do know a little bit about buyers and sellers, right? So let's, uh, let's take a look at this video for a moment. Destiny. Join me, and together we can rule the 
galaxy is far from sun. Seen, right? <laughs> what a voice. Oh, God, Lord. I was devastated in that series of Star Wars movies. So many emotions rolling, right? But I was devastated. What was the scene about? Remember this. Before he tells them that. He was his father. He had cut off his fighting arm. Right? You can see that. Where he has a sword, the hand goes off. So basically, he's at his most vulnerable, right? Is he the dead or, or foul? Right? Well, that's an extreme position, right? Is it? So, what, did, what was this about? Why Luke reacted that way? You know, remember he was a, he was a student of different arts also. But Dark, you know, Darth Vader needed him for that extra power, right? What that reminds you of. Right? People, right? See, no one man can be powerful unless he get people. So, you have a man that has no fighting hands, is desperate. He's, he's tempting him to say, okay, join me. <laughs> join me to do what, right? <laughs> then we know that him, right, by the grace of of something jumps and I assume he died but then we find out that he survived right and he went through all these changes with the hand so there is some right there is some pain to go through there are four things a man no matter how powerful, how much money, or how poor, or how, he's going to have a hard time with. Right? And sometimes they just leave you with two decisions, right? But is there only two? Right? Sheep or wolf? Remember, he survived. He took a leap of faith. And he survived. So what this is about? Why did he react that way? Because he was an angel in his own image. <laughs> I like to use little props. To it. So he was an angel. He thought he was a good man, right? And in that particular moment when he's fighting the battle, right? The battle with the man. He finds out that his seed comes from darkness. So what that did to him? It broke his wings. And turn him into a mortal. And that was a betrayal of trust. What is people suffering right now? It's the betrayal of that angelic life that they felt they had. And now they feel betrayed. Betrayed by their own beliefs, by their own innocence. Right? They believed, they trusted. They trusted, they trusted everything with their food, with their money, with everything, 
right? You go to, to a store, you trust those people that the food is going to be good for you. You trust them that, that the food is going to be healthy. You trust them that the medicine is going to cure you. You trust everything and all of a sudden, your wings are broken. And right, just like he lost his fighting hand, then you lost your fighting hand. So what do you do next? Desperation, disappointment, right? Pain is the driver of all creativity. Pain is the driver of all success. Not greed, not ambition. Those are, but the the elemental one, we see it all the time. Kids come out of nothing and they turn into these famous uh, um, uh, icons and humble beginnings. But they always had that drive because they saw pain. They came from humble beginnings. They had hard times growing up. I don't like to make my videos long, but... Uh, this movie relates to trust and to pain. The part, I'm trying to put these two, these two together between the part of finding out that somehow the wings got broken and I'm going to kind of illustrate why I think this happened and you probably will not will be surprised. So I'm gonna make this a two part. This is the part where dark versus you know light, good versus evil, the broken of the art, the losing of the innocence, the trust, the betrayal, right? We have been betrayed for something. But are we that innocent in terms of why this happened? And then what is there to do? Is it only two options or is there three options? Should we be encouraged now to take that leap of faith? That thing that always bothered you every day when you went to work, right? And every day it was bugging you. Oh, you should be doing this. Oh, you should be doing that. And now, how do you do that, right? How do you get to that? So we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. But I'm going to make this a two-part video. Now I'm going to give you a little insight on the next part. So we're going to put two movies together that taught me when I was a kid one of the biggest lessons in life. Because I fores foresaw, right, the future. You always have to be looking at a at hundred years, two hundred years, thirty years, forty years. You have to always have this wide open windshield in the front of you when you're driving in your life. And not through that back window. Right now, a lot of people, they turn their head around and they've been driving through that back window. Now it's time to turn around your, your head and go through that big, big um windshield see Woo, a lot of people been driving Woo, like this they've been driving their life like this backwards now it's time to turn the the spaceship around right and go forward like in the movies sci-fi right so it's exciting okay? it's a new time a new emergency but we need to get busy we need to get on learning and practicing those skills until we get it done so till the next time just keep uh, keep looking for chapter two look i make these videos to entertain and kind of illuminate people um i don't know if this is going to turn into something but if anybody watches this video and likes it and he think it, in any way it kind of help him in any way then let's not be selfish and then give it to somebody else. Let, let's see somebody else see it. I don't care. Just don't comment stupid things because I'm not going to read it anyways. I'm not doing this. 
uh, for any other reason than this is what's in my heart from being a salesman for so long and, and, and learning from life experience and how other people have helped me with one word they have transformed my life one word they didn't have to go 15 minutes on a video but I heard something whether it was a, a meeting or whether it was a, was a, a, a school learning or, or whether it was a movie I learned something because I was receptive because I wanted to live a long life and this is what it is you know you can't get defeated just because you're going into an obstacle that you see bigger than life you have to learn to go around it hmm? getting angry it's not gonna solve anything remember he asked him join me after he cut off his hand hmm? how do you feel right now And you feel like, like your hand, your fighting hand has been uh, uh, hurt, right? So this is about that. So the next movie, I'm not going to keep it a secret, is The Revenge of the Nerds. And I'm going to tell you how these two movies changed my life in the way I perceive the world and the way I, I project my life in the world, okay? So stay tuned for the next one. It should be coming out soon. Okay, bye. Love you guys. And remember, let's try to come out of this without any scratches, okay? Let's not get crazy out there. Use your head. Right here, look. It's a world. Look. Got to have all the information around you. Do you see how small we are? Huh? And this is just one little one. The universe is like all around me right here. So, so huh? S expand your mind. Don't get bottled in, okay? Keep this world spinning the right way, all right? Ciao.